Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome drug effects just like these and edits all in DaVinci Resolve for free. You can use these effects on any of your projects, music videos, anything you want, completely free from Cinepax.com. So let's get started. To work with the assets we got today, head on over to Cinepax.com, free section, and add the free drug FX sample packs to your cart, and just go on to checkout, type in your email, nothing else really matters there, and you'll get your download link to start editing. Once you have the zip file downloaded, make sure that you unzip it first before editing with it. You gotta drag all your files outside of it. We got both the lean and pill effect sample and the weed effect sample. So go ahead and drag those outside. And there's also a discount code if you do want the full version. That sample 15 will give you 15% off the order, but you don't need that for today. We're just using the completely free version. So let's look at it. Now, once you have found your packs and imported them in, you'll have plenty of things to take a look at here. They are all 4K Apple Pro Res, and we have transitions like overflow here, uh, pop off transition, which can just kind of transition to the next clip, and some awesome pills and stuff. And in the weed pack as well, there's some more transitions. We'll go through all of these. All right, so let's look at a few of these clips here. The first thing we got here is a transition. So these are super easy, just drag and drop. You just line them up in between the two clips zoom in so you know that they cover everything precisely maybe go with the arrow keys and as you can see as long as everything's covered I need to move this over just one or two frames here just lining up right there so it covers the whole frame and then if we play it through then you have an awesome transition right there perfect transition to the next thing we also got a marijuana animated leaf graphic here that you can drag around. You could just layer these on top of each other, maybe even change the blend mode to just get some really stylized sort of effects with it. But you could also kind of make a transition if you really wanted to out of these. So if we were to take this and why don't we grab like an, uh, another extra clip like uh, this right here and real quick change this to fill. Um, you could just basically bring this up and just manually animate this a little bit. So right around here, let's drag this so they overlap a little bit. And let's just uh, key the cropping on this. So let's key that right there. And let's crop uh, right all the way there. And then just bring this forward. And I'm gonna have it kind of transition right around there. Then you can just bring this all the way out right there. And then playing that through, you can see it wipes with the leaves. Um, however, we need to move this over just a little bit so there doesn't go black in the end of the screen. And then finally, just to add a final touch to this, it's really harsh cut right there. If you bring up your softness right around, oops, wrong clip. Bring up your softness on the crop, it will make it a lot better of a, lot smoother of a transition. So go ahead and play that through. And there you go. Now you have a nice smooth transition there. Another thing you could do if you wanted to, to kind of go with the trippy drug effect, is you could go into the colors and change the hue of these. Um, just all you gotta do is just shift the hue and you can change it to whatever color you want. However, why don't we try to animate the hue? Now to animate the hue, what you have to do is bring this to the front of your clip here and go to your hue, um, actually go to your keyframe editor, which you find right on this button right here, uh, and keyframe everything, all right? Once you do that, drag this all the way down to zero, and once, as soon as you move that, you'll see that it makes a keyframe right there. Then drag it to the end of the clip, right here, and bring your hue all the way up to 100. And as you can see, it has made a little spline keyframe animation there. And if we play this through, now it's shifting colors and going all crazy on us. Last thing this pack is like a paper sort of stop motion nug roll effect that kind of just falls down across the screen. Once again, this is also just a sort of drag and drop. As you can see, let's move this over here so everything's in focus. And as you can see, it just kind of drops down on the screen there. So if we put this up next to our transition there, it will kind of line up a little bit better. Why don't we try to color correct these just a little bit so they match with our scene right there. Uh, this is filmed in a little bit more of a flat color tone, so we could kind of bring down our contrast um, on the actual effect itself and a little bit of the saturation as well. 
um, that way it kind of matches it right now and then later we can always go back and just color correct the entire frame as a whole if we need to bring up the gain just a little bit and that'll kind of do it for us so it's just a little bit better and maybe just have them just overlap with the second animation here just a little bit perfect and then it all comes together and we get a nice little transition there all right, now looking at the other effects that we have, I personally love the red pill effect here that we have, which is a perfect transition that we can also use. So why don't we go ahead and we can just take it and throw it between two clips like so and see how it covers up the whole frame perfectly between the two clips, then we'll have a perfect transition. And there we go, perfect. Let me just change this to fill but moving this aside what i really like is the pop off transition as well so if we bring this up as you can see uh let's line it up so it covers the whole frame right there perfect and if we play this one through there it spills over the entire frame now how do you want to change the color on this one it's a little bit harder to change uh let me show you how you can do that all you got to do is key it which is not that hard so come over here to your color page go over to your qualifier this is for all your keying needs and just take a sample of the purple and if you can see on your node here you'll notice that it automatically isolates your um the purple color and if you press highlight then it will pick up the purple color here. So if you show your, this will show you basically what you have selected in your keyer. As you can see, we're not getting all the purple that we want here. So go over to your hue and extend this out just a little bit so it captures all of the purple that we want. Um, it's also a little bit fuzzy on the edges. So why don't we bring up the denoise just a little bit? But most importantly, let's bring up the blur radius. Uh, that will kind of just clean up our edges just a little bit. Now, if we go ahead and turn off the preview here and we go and mess with our hue, now you can see it's just affecting the spill color. So not affecting the bottle or anything else. We're just changing the color and we can change it to whatever we want now, just using the hue. So let's say I wanted kind of a, a red sort of medicine. There we go, bring the saturation up or down, bring the saturation down and we can play it all the way through and perfect. All right, let's also take this overflow effect here and let's track it onto her eye here while she's drinking. Um, so let's make room here because I wanna put this underneath the transition. I want it to kind of already be playing as the leaves go through here. And let's open up our transform, which is right here. So make sure that you have Let's see, let's go to the front of this animation here and right here where it starts first leaking out. Go ahead and click the transform and key everything and let's start animating this. So let's zoom in here. Basically kind of put this down and let's go a few frames in right around here where it kind of fills up the whole thing. So make sure that we scale it down a little bit move it into place right around there perfect all right and let's just go ahead and go like a few frames at a time and track it by hand all right so i have tracked this through so if we go ahead and play it as you can see it tracks with their face and it looks pretty nice i kind of like the design of it all now as you can see though i would like to kind of have it uh feel like it has a certain amount of weird sort of depth inside the scene itself so why don't we go ahead and basically give it a little bit of a blur when she's out of focus and then just animate it so it comes into focus when she leans in here so right around like right here roughly let's go ahead and go to our effects library and type in a gaussian blur blur um not video transition open effect gaussian blur perfect all right drag this into frame right there and let's say right around here, if we go to our effects tab, go ahead and key both of these. Let's just kind of put them into focus here and then go to the front of our clip um, where everything is out of focus. And let's kind of drag this up a little bit. So now if we play this through there, that looks really nice, I think. Um, I wouldn't mind even adding just a slight blur um, just towards the end as well. So right here, instead of bringing it all the way to zero, maybe just give it just a just the slightest haze. That way it doesn't look so extremely sharp. And if we play that through, there we go, that looks nice. 
And last thing that I'm gonna do just to give it a final touch is switch it to the compositing mode to something like add. That way I just know for sure that it's not darkening the frame any further because that will kind of look weird. Um, so that kind of fixes up our little edge border um, and I think makes it look really, really cleaner. All right, guys, and looking through everything, everything's kind of coming together, looks really nice. We've kind of used all the effects. However, looking at this blank space here, uh, there's not a lot going on here. Um, I'd like it to be a little bit more stylized if we could. So why don't we go into Fusion? Let me show you guys how you can make this awesome kind of warped polarized effect here. Um, so if we bring our media in here, go ahead and press shift space bar and we're going to add a lens distortion, uh, this one right here, and go ahead and click add. Now the cool thing about this, let's go ahead and set everything to zero, okay? That way we don't have any distortion, zero. Uh, the cool thing about this is if you uncheck gang here, you can basically edit each of the individual channels right here and dis distort them in that way. So that will give you a really cool effect here uh, where we can animate it ourselves. So why don't we go ahead and uh, towards the start here, when it first comes in, let's just keyframe all of these. So as he lights over here, we can just bring up the red distortion a little bit. So it kind of starts warping out and getting really kind of little, little, little trippy here. And we'll take out the green as well. And as you can see, they kind of start to overlap. And we can kind of like blend them in and out. So I might kind of go from here. Let's see, just, just basically kind of wave it around so it kind of goes in and out. Let's see, bring it back down again. Over here, I'm just completely winging it. Just, just basically giving, just making different keyframes in different places so it kind of waves around. So if we play that through, as you can see, it kind of, splits and sort of warps around. It's a little too sharp for my taste though. So why don't we go ahead and open our keyframe editor. And if we bring this down, you can see here's all our keyframes right here. And whoa, let me zoom in here a little bit. And it is way too harsh for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and I'm going to right click on them. How do I do this? Uh, here it is. Uh, change it to smooth shift s and as you can see that smooths out our curve a lot more um, I need to do it for each Line here. There we go. And so if we play it through again That will make all of our keyframes a lot more smoother and not so harsh There we go. Now we have that smooth kind of wave warp to it All right, everyone So I hope you had fun messing around with these effects and working through everything and hope you found it pretty easy fun to mess with. If you guys want to buy the full effect pack from cinepacks.com, go on over to their website and type in sample15 promo code. Sample15 will give you 15% off your order of any of the full packs that you want to buy. Hope you guys have fun, happy editing, and have a great